The number of U.S. military members being deployed to the region of this violence between Israel and Hamas is growing tonight. During a briefing today, the Pentagon confirmed the Air National Guard's 119th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron out of New Jersey just arrived in the Middle East today. That's a squadron of F-16s being added to the five other squadrons of F-15Es and A-10s that are already in the region. Along with, of course, the USS Gerald Ford and USS Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier strike groups. Now, over the weekend, you may have missed this, but the Pentagon announced Army Air Defense Units from Fort Bliss in Texas, Fort Liberty in North Carolina, and Fort Sill in Oklahoma were also deployed to the Middle East, and with them went Patriot Missile Batteries and Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Batteries, or THAAD batteries. Those are weapon systems meant to protect against incoming fire. The Pentagon would not reveal the specific number of troops deployed with those weapon systems and would not say exactly where they were going. All the Pentagon would say today is they were going to an undisclosed location in the Middle East to enhance force protection for the United States. But why do they need that? Today, the Pentagon announced between October 17th and today, October 24th, U.S. coalition forces and bases have been attacked by Iran-backed militia groups at least 10 times in Iraq and at least three times in Syria with one-way attack drones and rockets. These are just the preliminary numbers and they could absolutely grow. But it's worth remembering, not only does the U.S. believe Iran is behind these militia groups, but the U.S. also believes Iran has been backing Hamas for years, which the United States has declared declared, of course, a terrorist organization. The Pentagon's concern right now is the longer this bloody conflict between Israel and Hamas continues, the more the threat will grow to the rest of the region. And the president has said the whole point of putting U.S. military assets in that area is to deter any other group or country from getting involved and making things worse. I also reported to you in this video last week, the defense secretary put 2,000 troops on ready to deploy notice. And as of today, none of those troops have been deployed yet, but they very well could be if needed.